Hi everybody, my name is Candy from Custom Queen Designs and I am going to show you how to turn this Dollar Tree wine glass into one of these beautiful creations. Mm -hmm. The technique we're going to be using is called the Dirty Pour. However, my dirty pour is not a traditional dirty pour. Traditionally, a dirty pour is done where you pour put your paints, your acrylic paints, into a cup. You put the glass on top, flip it over, remove the glass, paint pours out. I don't do my dirty pours that way. Any particular reason? In my opinion, when I've done it, it comes out a little bit muddy and you can't really see the different colors defined. It's like they blend together. So my technique is putting the paint in the cup and pouring it over the top. Speaking of the top, what's going on on top of this cup? What we're gonna do right now is the prep for the dirty pour. There's always stickers that come on the top of, on the bottom of all the glasses that you'll get from Dollar Tree from almost anywhere. The way that you remove it, take some regular rubbing alcohol. You put a little bit on the bottom of the glass, paper towel, saturate the paper towel and let it sit. You can let it sit for as long as you want to. If you let it sit for a couple of minutes and you come back and try to pull it off, It'll, it should come off pretty easy, but you'd have to pull it. This has been sitting for a while, so all I'm gonna do is slide it right off the glass. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to give it a quick once over with some alcohol on the glass to remove any dust, dirt, fingerprints, oils, anything. And we're gonna give that a few minutes to let it dry. And while we're letting that dry, what we're gonna do is start preparing our paints. What I'm using for paints are acrylic paints from Michaels. The particular brand that I'll be using today is called Craft Smart. Craft Smart, excuse me. I also have Apple Barrel acrylic paints that I use from time to time. You can switch them up, they're basically the same thing. I get a 16 pack of these, the Craft Smart from Michaels for $10. That's not a sale price, that's regular, everyday price for 16 different paints. If you buy them individually, 70 cents. So you don't have to go find some expensive acrylic paint to use to make these, these work perfect. Bottle's a little bit smaller too, the 70 cent bottle. No, it's not, it's two ounces. Really, it's two ounces? Yes, oh. same amount. I stand corrected. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our paints prepared. I'm gonna be using black. And I use about almost half of the container for one of these bigger glasses. We're gonna be using gray. Next, we are going to use Ocean Breeze. Ooh, that's pretty. It's a really, yes, it is. really pretty color. 
we're going to be using bright blue. This is like New York Giants blue. And I don't like the Giants. It's the best blue in the world. It's the worst blue in the world. And purple. Okay. And now that we have all of our paints in the cups, what we want to do now is dilute them down with a little bit of water just so we can make them more pourable because they're kind of thick. I mean, you start out, it's not too thick, so it's pretty good, but it still needs to be a little bit thinner so it pours a little bit easier, so. Would you advise folks to like check every color that they pour for the consistency when they first start working with it? I mean, is, is, is it different with different colors? Not really. Not really? Okay. Okay. So next we're gonna add a little bit of water. Be careful on this part. If you add too much water, it's gonna make your paint runny and it's gonna just run down the glass and it's gonna run off of the glass. It's not gonna stick. You want your paint to be thick enough that it sticks and it runs down slow. So you're just gonna add just a touch. And when I say a touch, just a touch. And then we're gonna, and you have to mix it well to make sure you mix all of the water in it or else it will sit on the top and when you go to pour it into your bigger cup so that you can do your dirty pour, you're gonna get a bunch of water collected. And you go to pour it on your glass and it's not gonna work out the way you want it to. So this is about where I want it to be. And we're gonna go ahead and get all the rest of these done. Ocean breeze colors and everything. and purple. Okay, so our next step is going to be to get everything put in this cup so that we can start our dirty pour. There's no special arrangement that you need to do with the colors. It's whatever you feel like you wanna put in, however much of each color you feel like you want to put in. So basically, this is all up to you. The outcome of your cup is gonna be determined by what you choose to do. So, I'm gonna start off with a bit of blue. Just a touch. I'm going to add a bit of the ocean breeze. Those look pretty right there together. Yeah. I'm gonna add a touch of the black. Gray. 
then we're gonna add some purple. All right. Now, we come to the part where you can take a popsicle stick or palette knife and you can swirl it around a little bit if you want. I've done it. I've done it with these. I swirled it around just a little bit. You can, or you can just leave it just like this and pour like this. I'm actually gonna pour like this. When you're going to mix it around, if you decide to do that, just be very careful that you don't blend your colors in the cup too much because when you go to pour it over your glass, you're gonna get a muddy appearance. Your colors will blend together and you won't really get that definition that you want. Got it? Good. Okay. So I'm gonna move this off to the side. And I will get into position. <laughs> Make sure I can give you guys a bird's eye view when she starts pouring. Alright. Alright, whenever you're ready to go, I'm ready with you. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we wanna cover the underside right here. We wanna cover this and get it to run start running down the step. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna And if they're gonna want the whole cup to be covered, they must do it this way, correct? Yes. So first you're gonna turn your glass over and you're gonna to begin to pour. And as I pour, I move my, my cup around. That's pretty. Oh, wow. I wanna make sure I cover enough so that when I flip it over, it starts to drip down the glass. And we're gonna go ahead and flip. And here we go. Let me keep my hand out the way. That's beautiful. That is. So we're just going to wow. let it do that for a second while we're letting it start to drip. We're going to go ahead and put some more colors in the cup, just like we did before. Wow. So I'm going to do it over again. I'll do some more of the ocean. Oh, look at some of these drips already coming down here. Any of you guys that are watching this, if you've never seen this before, I'm telling you, it looked crazy to me the first time I saw it. Many times I wanted to be like, what are you doing? You could, but um, watch, just watch. So I'm trying to make sure that at least on the stem, it's, it's starting to move down. Is that important? You want to make sure that the, the stem, you know, the, what you poured already starts to cover that stem before you, you, you turn it over and work the other way? I mean, it's not really, it's not really that important. It's already flipped the way it needs to be. Okay. So it's fine. I'm just wanting it to go down the stem because if it's not going down the way I want to, that means I have to go back up there and add a little bit more paint because you can always add paint. Yeah. You can always add some more. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be a big deal. And don't ever think that your stem is gonna come out really chunky with the chunky colors of paint because when it starts to pull down, it's gonna stretch. It's gotta go all the way down the stem. So it is gonna- They can kind of see that happening already. Yeah, and it's gonna be lines and you'll be able to see all the colors and it's so pretty. Come from a different angle so they can't, oh, there we go. This leave it right there, right there. Just so I didn't, the camera with glare was kind of making it hard for them to see probably. Yeah, they can see that, wow, look at that. Whew. 
That's pretty. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we got some more paint in the cup. We're gonna start at the very top here. We're gonna pour some paint and we're gonna allow that to just drip down for now. So here we go. And you can go off the sides if you want a little, it's no big deal. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna start to pour around the belly. And we're just gonna let this drip. I'm gonna add some more paint to my cup while we're letting that happen so we can keep going. Hey, can you show them the top of the cup? Mm -hmm. What I am gonna do is I'm going to come back and um, move some of that paint that's on the top of the cup down so that it falls down to the sides. That looks very pretty, very abstract. Okay. All of that. And then I'm gonna come up here and in no particular fashion. Will this, will they be able to see this, whatever lines that they pull through up there, they'll be able to see that at the bottom when it dries, right? Yes. Okay. And that'll also help the paint spread to the rest of the cup, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. There's method you to the You can see madness. it's coming down the, there's some more coming down the stem. Doing that can also help you pull some more paint coming down your stem if you see any empty spots to it. And there still might be some empty spots, but you can always go back and fill it in with no problem. With more paint. So. And you might need to pull a little bit more off the top because on one side of your stem. Mm -hmm. Right oh, here? Yeah. We'll go back and fill that in. We're gonna fill it in. Copy that. So, here we go. No particular fashion. And I'm just gonna go right back to doing what I was doing before. And I'm gonna come work my way around the cup to try to cover. Oops. Come over to this side opposite you if you can. Kind of letting the paint pour down. This is the only part that gets kind of tricky. Doesn't happen all at once, huh? Gotta be a little patient there. See yeah. what you need to fill in. Now what's left in my cup right now, I swirled that around a bit. Mm -hmm. I swirled that around a bit so I can pick this up and go in and I can drop this in places and help fill out some holes. And it's okay. Do that right there. Can't see it, I gotta go around. Ah. Oh, wow. Thank you. 
I'm just filling out some spots. But it's okay because I'm still not done. I still got more paint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up a little bit more of this. Can you look and see as much as you can if I got that stem covered? Make sure that stem is dark. That stem looks good to me. Okay. You just need to worry about the bulb now, okay. you know. Oh, wow. Yo, you know, it's, I hope, I hope and I hope and I pray because of course this paint is not finished moving yet, just yet. But I hope that what's going on in the stem stays exactly how it is. You got like a light side and a dark side. That's crazy, wow. I love that stem. This one's gonna be a big action right there. Look at that. And some of the really, really pretty action that I do have going on, I'm gonna try my best not to cover over it. This is when I might incorporate a couple of swirls in my cup as to not get a big chunk of color when I'm going to lay it down. Gotcha. So. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So this is the swirl that's going on in the cup. And I'm going to try my best to pour this. Don't, don't, maybe don't start up so high, maybe? I can't go any lower. I have to start that high. So now what I'm gonna do with the swirl paint that we have is go in here and try to fill in these holes. I'm going to try my best not to cover up all of the beauty that we already have going on. Don't be afraid, guys. Let it happen. I'm telling you, it's still going to be beautiful. Okay. Wow. It's so pretty. these colors are working is like absolutely gorgeous and these ones that are further down here instead of pouring from the top I'm just gonna go into my cup and kind of see if I can swirl that down a little bit oh man yeah that works perfect oh bad camera Sorry guys, I was watching instead of working the camera there. My bad. Wow. There's one that looks like the paint is gonna come down and fill itself in over there. Yeah, that's good. See that guys, if you're patient, sometimes you put enough paint up there, you may not be able to see it, but that, that little gap right there is slowly closing up. That's gonna fill itself up. Now, I noticed and up you here, do have some over here, I have a spot that's open up here at the top. And I want to cover that spot up. And have fun mixing your colors. Just.
Bear with me guys, let me get this turned around for you so I can finish filling in these spots. Wow! That's pretty. She just saw what was going on on the other side that we've been looking at. Oh, man. I'm trying to get as close as I can to certain because I don't want to disturb certain things that are going on. I don't want to touch anything. I would have to to get these. You know what? That's right. Pull the trigger. Be brave. You're an artiste. Yeah. It's a hit or a miss sometimes, man. <laughs> that spot is like, no, don't cover me. He doesn't know who I am. I said, I don't want to be pretty. Never even had your car. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I just missed the whole spot. Do that same thing in that same spot that you came from that you said you missed. Just touch it a little bit like that and I'll let the rest of it trickle down there. You gotta touch it in an open spot there. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. There we go. There we go. It's good. No? No? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I got a little bit of light coming through right there. Just touch that. This is so psychedelic. <laughs> Ooh. Folks, I hope my shadow was not ruining it and not letting you see everything that's happening here. But there is a whole lot going on. And again, this is not even finished moving. Some of this color is still going to be dripping down. So it might even change up a little bit more and wind up being more beautiful than it is already. The colors, it's, you see that there's drip marks underneath here. Leave them alone and they will all work itself out. It will work itself down and down your stem. So you don't have to do anything except just let, just be patient. Just let it go. Just be patient. Everything that you see, if you see a lump, don't worry about it. It will go away. Let gravity do its thing. And that is my version of the Dirty Pour on Stem Wine Glass. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time.